I don't even own a toaster anymore because this is the only way that I make toast. I love bread. I will eat bread every single day. I tried not eating bread before and I was very unhappy. Let's spend time with Marco, but the food is the star, so it's probably worth sharing. Hello, I'm Marco and welcome to my home kitchen. Today I want to show you how to make olive oil toast. It is my favorite toast in the entire world. I eat this almost every single day because it is so easy, but so flavorful. This recipe is great because you can use any size of bread, any thickness, and it can be fresh or frozen. And it will be so fluffy, it will be so tasty. And you can apply this to a ton of different types of toast, like crostini, English muffins, croutons. The world is your toaster. To make olive oil toast, you want to heat a large frying pan on medium heat for a couple minutes. So it has a lot of heat retention before you put the olive oil in. Once your pan is hot enough, you want to add one or two tablespoons of olive oil and then let that heat up for another 30 seconds. One way to tell if the olive oil is hot enough is that it will move freely across the pan and it will have a slightly shimmery effect on it. If your oil starts smoking, your pan is too hot. If it is too cold, your bread will immediately absorb all of the oil. You'll kind of see it pull away from the sides of the pan. And that's fine, you'll still get one really nice crispy side, but the other side might be a little bit drier. Add in your bread, and if it's the right temperature, you'll immediately hear it start sizzling. You're going to leave this to cook for about two minutes on each side. This gives you the perfect combination of a really crispy, really flavorful exterior, but a really soft, fluffy, moist interior. In about two minutes, just checking to see how they look, and they look awesome. When it has that deep golden brown is when you want to flip your toast. After I flip it, I usually like to move it around in the pan to catch any olive oil that might be around the outsides, just to make sure that the bread is relatively evenly coated. Give it another one to two minutes on the second side. If your second side is getting a little bit more of this brown texture instead of the fried texture, you can always add a little bit more olive oil to the pan. And that's it, these are done. I'm going to take them out of the pan and they're ready to serve. You can do this with any frozen bread and it will revive it and make it soft and tender inside. You can go directly from freezer to pan and have perfect toast in five minutes. With the sourdough bread, sometimes it can be a little bit uneven. So I'm just pushing it down right at the beginning to help it adhere to the pan, which will give it more of an even golden color. And the sourdough right from the freezer still comes out beautifully golden, beautifully soft and tender on the inside. First, I want to show you just how crispy it is. This has been sitting out for like an hour while I've been flipping video shoot stuff around. This method just creates the perfect toast. So, how does it taste? This is so good. I eat this like every single day and I am still so in awe of how good it tastes for how easy it is. I hope you try this one out. If you do, please tell me what you put on the toast in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please like, please subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Oh, it's probably worth sharing so much toast and I'm just so happy to eat all of this.